Jesus. What it do, it's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters, man. Today I have a special guest with me, man, Julian Batten. Um, Julian Batten gonna give us his story, man. It's a lot going on around the country right now, man. Um, so we gonna get into a lot of subjects and things like that. How you doing, Julian? I'm good, I'm good, brother. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Um... First, I want to welcome you to the show, brother. Appreciate all Thank the support you. you've been giving me and things like that. Um, how long you been in battle rap, bro? How long you been like a fan of battle rap? <laughs> oh, my, uh, <laughs> that long, huh? Party Mur Murder Party Artie. Mur no, that one. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, I think Party Artie. Oh, so that's how that's how that's how you you yes, got sir. it. Yes, sir. Did somebody yes, sir. introduce you to it? Somebody introduced you to it? Or you came across it, or was it making noise? No, we, you know, we, you know, back in the days in the hood, man, it was the uh, the, the uh, Smack DVDs, or Smack was coming out with the DVDs, and you know what I'm saying? And that's all we watched was the end of the battle. We could tell us what was going on in the interview. That's all we wanted to see in the city was the guy, was the end of, uh, with the battles. Did you have the and DVD? Did you have the DVD, or somebody else gave you the DVD? We bought it. Yeah, I mean, you know the bootleggers and sell them on the streets, man, in front of the stores, you know what I'm saying? We bought it or did you? You said we bought it. Yeah, we bought it. I mean, we, because it was, I mean, we didn't, it wasn't just one DVD, brother. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So you did have your own. Yeah, I had my own, but, I mean, we swapped them out. That way, I mean, we know who had what, though, you know what I'm saying? But let me ask you this, though. Every one of them. Let me ask you. Let me ask you this though, because there'd be a lot of controversy over that. Now they were trying to say. Now, since you had the DVD, they were trying to say people were buying the DVD just to see the battle, and then people were saying no, they were buying the DVD because of all the interviews with the rappers and things on there. What was you buying just, the DVD? I just told you in the city in Cincinnati, Ohio, where I'm from, we was watching the battles. Okay, so you we you was, bought them for the battles. We was battle rap. We was battle rap. So you would fast forward the interviews and get right to the end of it with the battle come on. Man, we what battle rap? Who battle rap? on the back of the who on the back one on the back of the cover? All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Point for the battle rappers. Yeah. Right. Okay. So let me let me ask you this question, Julian. How did you first come across me? Uh scrolling the internet. Just on, just, I mean, just scrolling on YouTube. Mm. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. The first thing I thought on you was, uh, no, I came across you because of Pretty Money. Okay. I kept trying to figure out who Pretty Money was talking about. <laughs> see, <laughs> see how that worked. And he was, he, and he was, <laughs> see how that works? I'm like, why the hell is that about this dude so much? I'm like, okay, cool. And then I seen you, uh, 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 battling, uh, Brother Polite on the religion thing. And I'm like, oh, okay, I get it now. I, see, I said, okay, okay, I see what's going on. So it was like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? See that? Uh, yeah, I'm a yeah. Even yeah, my I'm even my right. hater even my haters good for something. And you hooked me up yeah, with yeah, a brother yeah, who been cool yeah, who man, been cool on, with man. me okay. ever since. See see how that see how I told y'all y'all could be used for something. <laughs> with that being said uh, with that being said, so Julian, um it was a big thing going on in the battle rap community about the Adi Boom thing we touched on. And it hit a little bit close to home concerning you. Would you care to uh, let us in on why the Adi Boom snitching hit so close to home when it came to you? Because I am a victim of being snitched on. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, I, guess, I guess I had to take that into the story. Um, <clears throat> I got, it was a CI... It was a guy, actually, actually my girlfriend's cousin's girlfriend. That's who it was at the time. But she became a CI, and I sold her some weed, and the police came to my house and shot at me 29 times, hitting me nine over selling the quarter bag of weed, which sparked this whole lawsuit thing that I got, had going now. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
saying? So, like April 16, 2015, about 12 or 13 officers rode up to my house, didn't knock on my door, didn't announce who they were, just came through and started firing. And I got hit nine times. I was paralyzed. I wasn't shot at the, at the moment. In the, in, in the moment, I was in shock. But <clears throat> I was in a coma for six weeks. And when I came out of the coma, they took my story. And before, you know, it was, I shot at the police. It was a copy of, kind of like the Breonna Taylor, the Breonna Taylor story. You know, he, mm. he, he shot at us, so we were trying to fight. And that's what it was if I would have had, if I had died. But being that I survived and I came with a, a different story, they finally tested my gun and seen that my gun wasn't fired, that it was still loaded, fully loaded. It, was, it wasn't no, nothing in the missing out of the chamber or anything. My gun was never fired. And then they said they knocked and announced who they were, but I had a camera on my porch. And that showed that they didn't even knock on my door. It shows them running up, busting in my door, then the camera cuts off. And of course, you know, the body cameras don't come on until after the last shot was fired. So that's basically what it was until I came out of the coma. I was a drug dealer of selling weed who shot at the police. So they returned fire. So 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 you saying you did shot, shoot at the police? No, I didn't. That's what they, that was their story. That oh, that you was story. a drug dealer that, that shot at the, the police. police. So that, for the police, they, it was three different officers that shot me, and they used the fact they used uh, me shooting at them as their justification for shooting me. Right. But when I came to, and they actually had to test my gun and see it wasn't fired. Okay, now y'all lying. Okay, well his gun wasn't fired, so he couldn't have shot at you. So he pointed the gun at us, which is why we fired him. So somebody. Like, okay, cool. So your girl. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a it's an open and shut case to the police. Like they, I mean, they just like play they put out wide from beginning to end. And I had cameras on my porch to to, to to prove that they were lying in the beginning, which made everything else they did a lie. And they kept they just kept lying. And it was like, okay, cool, we're just gonna settle. After so long, we're just we're just gonna settle. But I mean, to tie that back to the ID boom thing, it was you. There's not always paperwork when you get snitched on. Okay. You can get pulled over in the car and tell on somebody and go about your way. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can hit up with this type. Oh, yeah, you, you, you get caught with this. Okay, well, well I'll I give you this. Dude. Okay, well, I'll work with you. Let's go. And they had T.I.'s names. They, you know what I mean? The C.I.'s, they, 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 there is no paperwork on the C.I. There is no paperwork on a video camera. You know what I'm saying? Because they used that video. They, they, she came in, when she came in about the week, I mean, she came in with a video camera. She was wired up with a video camera. So they used that as being her. It was just that I knew who she was so I could identify her. You know what I'm saying? Because I knew who it was. Like, it's like, okay, I know who this is. I can identify you. How do I know? You know what I'm saying? It was like, okay, cool. I can identify her now. I know who she was. But no, she didn't have to come to court. No, there was no paperwork with her name on it. No, there was nothing but the video that she came in my house and bought seven grams a week. That was all that was, that was all that was there. That, that there was no it, <laughs> there was no there was there was no record of her ever being arrested. There was no record of you know what I mean what she got arrested with. We had to do a private investigation to figure out that what happened was she got stopped for a busted tail light and had a roach in the ashtray. And because she was on military disability, they told her that she didn't give up somebody that she was going to lose her $1,500 a month disability check from the military. And that $1,500 meant the world to her. So she gave it to me. So yes, you can tell on somebody and not be, and then there's not no paperwork. And uh, the discovery, Adi Boom's discovery wouldn't show nothing about him snitching on somebody else. That would be in the man who snitched on discovery. Why he's trying to play that uh, uh, once I get my discovery. No, the discovery means the stuff they use to convict you, stupid. It's a discovery of the evidence. Right. Not a discovery of you snitching. 
that led to the investigation. Yeah, that, that, there's, that there's not going to be, oh, when, when you get a motion, your motion of discovery, that, oh, yeah, you told on somebody in that. No, that's not, that's not how that works. Mm-hmm. I don't know where, I don't think he's at, but it pretty much works the same almost everywhere. So, so your girlfriend, cousin, gave you gave you over to the police because she didn't want to lose her military disability $1, check. Yes, sir. And ended up and, and ended up almost getting you killed. The police come in your house unannounced, yeah. open fire on you, shoot twenty nine times. Twenty nine shots within uh, within a seven foot distance. We were about seven feet away from us. Right. So 29 shots at the almost point blank range with assault rifles, which is why I'm alive, because if they were shot me with pistols, I would be dead. But they came in with AR-15s, M4s, M16s, Call of Duty weapons. They came in me like I was a, a El Chapo or something. And hit you, and how many times out of the 29 times was you hit? They said 9 to 12. The doctor, I was told 9 to 12, but I don't want to over over. Yeah, I mean, overstated, so I kept it at nine. But the bullets went straight through, so they weren't. There, there was nothing but bullet fragments in me, so they weren't doing nothing but patching up holes. So they, that that they, that's how they, they were guessing, so they couldn't tell which was entry and what what, what was exit, or you know what I'm saying, what was ricochet, or they couldn't tell. It was I, just, I was just my body. I just had holes in my body.